Hello, I'm Congressman Leonard Boswell, and I would like to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to address you today. The near collapse of our economy in 2008 tested the will and faith of all of us. And as I am sure all of you know, with tough times come tough choices. I stand behind the work my colleagues in Congress and I have done to create jobs and rebuild the economy, to provide increased access to affordable and quality health care, and to take care of Iowa's retired workers and seniors. This recession has hit America's retired workers and seniors very hard, and that's why I worked hard to include them in our nation's recovery efforts. Last year's Recovery Act included funding for part-time jobs in community service for seniors that suddenly found themselves in need of employment when their retirement savings were gambled on Wall Street. Also included in the recovery legislation was an immediate $250 check to help seniors with groceries, home bills, and other critical needs. And so far, the investments made in the Recovery Act have gone a long way to stabilizing 401k p uh, pension and other retired retirement accounts. This year, I also voted to make health care more affordable accessible and stable for all Americans, insured and uninsured, seniors and children. For seniors, this legislation made improvements to our nation's Medicare system by targeting fraud and making the program more efficient. It also started to close the Medicare Part D prescription drug donut hole. In fact, those of you that are impacted by this coverage gap should be receiving $250 checks in the mail in the coming weeks and months. These checks are just the first step in reducing prescription drug prices under health care reform. Next year, seniors in the donut hole will get 50% discount on name brand prescription drugs and a 75% discount on generics. The donut hole will be closed for good by 2020. I'm also very happy to report that we made important progress toward getting fair Medicare reimbursements for Iowa's doctors and hospitals. This legislation will begin paying doctors and hospitals more fairly by increasing their base pay for Medicare services, by ensuring fair payments and our, for our providers, and we will make sure that seniors like yourselves can keep the doctor that they have now. As I finish out the 111th Congress, please trust that I will continue to support legislation that supports and strengthens the safety nets that our retired workers and seniors have been promised since they began paying into them at the start of their working lives. I know how important these retiring programs are to Iowa seniors who have come to trust that the programs they have been paying into will be there in their golden years. We must honor the trust and I've been, that have been established between seniors and their government.